Feminine women do not play nice. Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content and hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I pop out a new video. So as the new year has just approached its third day, as feminine women, I'm pretty sure we're already on our goals and aspirations and things that we just overall want to do and accomplish. However, we're doing those things with ease and flow and grace about ourselves. We are not running around like they used to say back in the day, like a chicken with the head cut off. We're not doing that. Um, we are easing into our new year. Um, we are thinking about, really thinking about what we want to accomplish in our lives this upcoming year. What does this have to do with playing nice? Because as feminine women, it is not our goal to play nice. It is our goal to do what's going to benefit us and those that we love and care about. So in doing that, you cannot be a nice girl. You cannot be the girl that's always just going along to get along. I'm just playing nice with everybody. I just like, you know, everything just to be okay. In doing that, you accomplish nothing. And as feminine women, we understand that it is not what somebody else wants you to do that matters. It's your agenda that matters. As women, we have to understand that how we feel what we need is of utmost importance. And your goals and accomplishments will never be more important to somebody else than they are to you. And because of that, you cannot play nice. Because let me tell you, there'll be people that will have you sitting on the back burner until the middle of the year while you're still trying to play nice and trying to figure out and see if they're going to let you play. No, as feminine women, we don't bring anything to tables. We are not the table. We create a space for ourselves to thrive. That's what we do. When we accomplish things, it's because we have an end goal in mind of ways of keeping ourselves more at peace, more at ease, and continuing to thrive in our femininity. We can't do that if we are constantly looking for other people to give us the go-ahead or validation to be okay with who we are. No, we don't care if people say we suck. We don't care if we, people say we're fake. We don't care if people say that, okay, you're doing too much, too much for them because they have a limited way of thinking. But as feminine women, we don't have any limitations on how we think and what we want to accomplish and how we want to be in the world. And because of that, you're going to be looked at as opposition sometimes. You're going to be looked at as not playing nice. And that's okay. Even in the area of faith, you can't just go along to get along. You have to stand for something. I don't know if you guys heard of that saying, uh, if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. Well, pretty much it's the same way with our femininity and just how we carry ourselves as women. We have to stand for something. And when you stand for something, you will not play nice and you will be seen as opposition by somebody. No matter how dainty, how feminine you are, you will always be the villain in somebody's story. And that is okay. As women, as feminine women, we are perfectly fine with that. I'll be the villain in your story. It's not a problem. But I know that if I gave you villain treatment, you did something to deserve that. Because feminine women, we don't start problems. We don't make things uneasy. We only get that way if somebody creates static for us. That's the only way. And then we remove ourselves from that situation. Okay? So as feminine women, don't feel like you have to be this passive being that is submissive to the point that you allow people to walk all over you. We're not doing that this year. We're not allowing people to feel like, okay, she's more reserved. She's more soft-spoken. So you can just say whatever you want to say to her. You can do what you want to do to her. Don't give her the promotion. Don't give her, you know, her whatever is due to her because she just want to let it go. That is not femininity. You have to understand that being a feminine woman, that also means that you possess wisdom and discernment. And when you have wisdom and discernment, you understand that you are worth more than whatever the treatment you might be getting. You will recognize when you're not being treated the way you should be treated and you remove yourself or you change the situation. So no more playing nice this year, okay? Because playing nice leaves you behind. 
being wise, being smart, being kind, that is something to aspire to. But being nice, oh no, dear, we are not doing that this year, okay? Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. I'm going to try my best to get on a regular schedule. Um, I've actually been sick over the holidays. I'm just getting over having the flu. So things might be a little spread out here and there, but I'm going to bring you content whenever something pops in my spirit and whenever I feel like, you know, it's just something you all need to know. I hope you ladies are being fabulous and that you're just inspired to be a better you throughout this year. And again, no playing nice. Uh, being feminine is not being passive and being a woman you have to use wisdom all right like and subscribe take care